Alright guys, today is the day that go bike racing. Not bike racing today, but um, we're going to go leave to go bike racing. So, I have a seven hour drive to get started. I'm a little late on the leave, but you know, I'm a late type of guy. It's uh, 10.25, and we got to uh, make it to the hotel. So, uh, yeah, come along for the ride. We're gonna have a fantastic time. My first ever time bike racing, and we're just gonna go see how it is. Got the bike in the back. It's all good. This is what it's all about right here. So, uh, yeah, let's go. We have a slight update on how the trip is going so far. Um, I'm on a car ferry. Now don't ask me how I exactly got on this car ferry because I was just following Google Maps and you know I'm pretty actually, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, I'm pretty grateful it brought me here. Um, I'm still a distance away from the final location. But, dude, I'm on a car ferry. I've never been on a car ferry. It's just crazy, dude. I'll keep, keep you updated. Um, we made it to the, uh, to the hotel. It's the, uh, it's what's going on outside. Very nice. It's my car. Um, that was the seven hour trip. It's, it was, uh, pretty enjoyable, not too bad of a drive actually. And, um, it's a beautiful area. I've never been here before. Never been to Seattle. Never been on to the, I guess this would be like the peninsula, the like Olympic National Forest area, National Park, and I'm excited to race my bike tomorrow. So I'm going to get some food and I don't know, hang out for the rest of the night, but I'll see you guys um, bright and early tomorrow morning for some more fun. So, uh, yeah. Oh, good morning. Is it weird that I brought a can of coconut milk with me for breakfast? Anyways, so I eat breakfast. It's uh, 7.25 and I actually race at around 10 a.m. So we got some time. But um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of all I got for you this morning. Eating some cereal. What I normally kind of eat in the morning. Not ideal, but it's pretty close to ideal. So, 
yeah. I don't know. Maybe we'll go get some, like, coffee or something in a little bit. Feeling great. Um, no. So I'm gonna get changed. And, um... Get ready to race. There we go. We're gonna do this. And, um... It's, it's all about... this. all I got on my mind right now. Literally, my mind is blank. I don't know if I'm just really tired. Or if it's just enlightenment. So, I'm gonna get ready to race. I'm gonna put on my stuff. And we're gonna figure out what to do. And, uh... Gonna go race some bikes and then go home. So, wish me luck. Wish my bike luck. And you'll see on the GoPro, hopefully, how things go. And I'll, you know, and I'll let you guys know what, how things go. So, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Alright, warming up. About to, uh, about to get started. Beautiful day for a race though, so let's see what happens. So here we go, Tour of Dung 2022, my first bike race. Um, and so the first couple, the first K was a neutral start. And really, my goal for this race was to just see what it was like to race on your bike i've never really ridden in a group i've never ridden in a group before especially this large i've never i've done some drafting before um but nothing too crazy um and so here you can see that like first lap you know i just kind of found myself drifting up to the front so just kind of wanted to see what it was like a lot of what i was doing and this race was just kind of experimentation, just seeing what was it, what it was like, and just seeing, you know, where my fitness was, and um, and how fit everybody else was. And so, the the course was pretty flat. Um, we did three loops, so about thirty, a little over thirty six miles. Um, and there was some hills, like here. This is towards the beginning again. Um, some slight hills, but nothing too crazy. You know, nothing probably longer than I don't know maybe like quarter of a mile um and so first lap was pretty chill nothing really going on um you know it felt pretty good it's really easy just to sit in the pack and um do nothing uh I, you know I was a little scared of of maybe getting in a crash and you know there's a few close calls here and there but um nothing too crazy um, so here you can see it doing a little bit of attacking off the front, um, kind of bridging up to some people who were off the front. You know, I didn't really know what I was doing, so, you know, I just didn't really want to be disengaged from the race. Like, I just wanted to be engaged in it and, you know, help if I could or, you know, try to do any breakaways or just kind of see what it was like. So here I am off the front again I don't know doing some doing something I can't really remember I think this is lap lap two um at some point there was two a two person breakaway I think this is it and we we're trying to um bridge up to them um at some point and we eventually caught them probably took maybe half a lap but it was a little difficult to get everybody to work together as you can see here some other people are taking turns to go catch him and we did catch him and turns were an interesting part I felt pretty confident on the turns um I don't think um, a lot of other people felt too confident on the turns uh so you know I felt I felt good doing that there's a little bit of there's some sketchy turns but maybe just like one or two nothing too crazy um a little bit of gravel but the roads were pretty nice and it was it was a nice day so here we are coming into lap three and I'll, and 
As you can see, I just took it a horrible turn, and I'm panicking now because we're coming in towards the to the finish line. And lap three was pretty crazy because this is when the racing actually started. And here I'm trying to go around the left because I think the finish line is where we started in the neutral start. A little did I not realize, oh, I mean, I completely didn't realize is that it was another like mile down the road. And so here I am going off the front. There's a few people who were off the front and obviously we're, we're gonna catch them. And here I'm thinking like, all right, I'm going for it. We're going for it, we're going for it, we're going for it. The finish, I'm like, the finish line is literally like half a mile away. So I'm going pretty hard. Yep, going pretty hard. There's probably a lot of people and there's definitely, a, there's a long line of people behind me. I'm like, uh, what am I doing? I'm like, I don't really care. I'm just going for it. So I'm still putting down, you know, putting in some good speed. We're going pretty fast, you know. Well, at least I feel like I'm going pretty fast. You know, and like I felt pretty good this entire race. Like I'm like I'm just feeling really fit lately. And honestly, I wasn't too sore. Like my legs weren't sore at all after this, but whatever. So again, here look, you see my little head bobbing on the front. Taking this corner, I'm like the finish line's right here. The finish line's right here. And then I'm like the finish the finish line is not there. And then that's when I got up and I'm like, all right, I'm done. You guys can, you guys can pass me. And so I, I, I'm like, all right, well, I don't know where the finish line is, but I'll let everybody pass me and maybe I'll try to recharge rest for like two minutes and like see what happens. Now this is where things get a little crazy, as you can hear. There's a big crash right there. As you can see everybody's head turned kept going um and the finish line was it's like um on the it's up this hill and so we're going up this hill and i'm really tired because i just use all of my energy but we're uh, we're making it and um a lot of people felt a little discouraged i felt a little just kind of weird like i don't know discouraged or I don't know, I just kind of lost it a little bit after the crash. But that was it. That was the race. Yeah. <laughs> well. Okay, so that was the race. Um some initial thoughts it was really fun and I didn't know where the finish line was so that's something that I need to know in the future because that's helpful um, but you know it was really cool um, you know got to you know go up front a couple times do some pulls feel like I was you know participating in the event and um, as you can see there's a pretty bad crash um about like a half a mile maybe before the finish line and took out a couple people pretty rough and um so yeah that's too bad but you know cat five what you gonna do guess it happens so thankfully you know everybody's okay or yeah everybody's okay and now I got to start the seven hour drive back home. So, got a long way to go. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed racing my bike. It was a beautiful day, beautiful place to race a bike. And we definitely got to do this again sometime. So, I'll see you guys soon. And um, yeah, take care.